Good evening. Welcome to Washington. I'm Brett Baer. Ever since the Obama administration nailed down that agreement with Iran and five other world powers to try to block the Islamic regime from getting a nuclear weapon, the president and his aides have been telling us the deal will make it more likely the U.S. can cooperate with Iran on other issues in the Middle East. Now, under questioning from Fox News, the Obama administration is allowing for the possibility that they were wrong and that the nuclear deal may be making the behavior of the Iranian regime worse, putting the lives of American sailors and soldiers at risk. Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen has our top story from the State Department. Three days after Iran's military threatened to shoot down two U.S. Navy surveillance planes flying in international airspace, the State Department acknowledged disturbing trends in the regime's behavior, which has also included a doubling in the number of naval confrontations with American sailors and an aggressive regimen of ballistic missile testing. And now, for the first time, the Obama administration admits the president's signature foreign policy initiative, the Iran nuclear deal, which went into effect in January, could be worsening, not improving Iran's behavior. But you can't rule out that, in fact, this deal has served as a cause for this more aggressive posture. I mean, I, I can't rule that out. Iran, uh, like many countries, has an internal political process. Uh, that's defined by a lot of different dynamics. Just two weeks ago, CENTCOM Commander General Joseph Votel told reporters Iran hadn't escalated tensions at all. I would say that uh, we haven't seen a significant change in their behavior. The picture of an emboldened Iran emerges as lawmakers have begun examining a small set of documents from the Osama bin Laden archive that U.S. forces captured in the raid that killed the Al-Qaeda chief back in 2011. The House Intelligence Chairman told Fox News those documents connect Iran and Al-Qaeda more closely than the administration has publicly acknowledged. We're finding that, that bin Laden had significant ties to Iran, that Iran was a tunnel uh, for Al-Qaeda. Uh, bin Laden told uh, his followers not to attack the Iranians. The administration argued that Iran's more aggressive conduct only underscores the value of the nuclear diplomacy. Because uh, the last thing anyone would want to see in the region is a <coughs> nuclear armed Iran. But critics of the nuclear deal see disturbing trends of their own, in which the Obama administration has purportedly been willing to let a lot slide in order to prevent any erosion in public support for the deal. And certainly investigating a close connection between Iran and Al-Qaeda would uh, raise suspicions that this nuclear deal with Iran is not in America's national security interest. Nor is the Iran-Al-Qaeda connection solely a thing of the past. This summer, the Treasury Department sanctioned three senior Al-Qaeda figures living in Iran who are said to be using that country as a base from which to move money around, acquire weapons, and coordinate with other terrorists. Brett? James Rosen at the State Department. James, thank you. Now